presented by Data East. Ready? Welcome. Results. Minnesota Fats. Pool Legend. Challenge the Pool Legend. He was born Rudolf Walter Wanderon, Jr. in 1913 in the Washington Heights section of New York. He is perhaps the most recognizable figure in the history of pool. Although he has never won a formal world championship, Wanderon, better known as Minnesota Fats, has probably done more for the game of pool as a publicity generator and spokesperson than any player in the history of the game. In the 40s and 50s, Wanderon made a living as a streetwise card shark, pool hustler, and master of the proposition. He was known back then as New York Fats, Brooklyn Fats, and Double Smart Fats. It wasn't until the Paul Newman film The Hustler hit the theaters in 1961 that Wanderon changed his name to Minnesota Fats, the title used by the portly pool hustler portrayed by Jackie Gleason in the movie. Like the Gleason character, Wanderon had a reputation as a high roller. But unlike the subdued Fats portrayal in the film, Wanderon is a man of many words. He has a billion stories and anecdotes about the game he has played since he was five. Pool's the greatest game on earth, says Wanderon. You can put two eight-year-old kids on a pool table and go to Europe for a week. When you come home, those two kids will still be at the table playing pool. If you ask the average man in the street to name the greatest pool player of all time, chances are he'll say Minnesota Fats. It doesn't matter whether you pose the question to a skilled player or to someone who doesn't know the difference between a cue ball and an eight ball. Minnesota Fats is to pool what Muhammad Ali is to boxing. Minnesota Fats was inducted into the Billiard Congress of America's Hall of Fame for meritorious service in 1984. Minnesota Fats, the greatest pool hustler the world has ever known. Ready? Welcome. Results. Minnesota Fats. Pool of Legend. Oh, hi, Fred. I'm waiting for Junior. He's supposed to stop by sometime today. Hey, Pops, Fred. Junior, how have you been? Sit down. You have a seat too, Fred. Junior, I've asked you to come here today for a reason. You know that I've spent all my life hustling pool halls. Well, my reputation. <laughs> People now call me the uncrowned king of pool. Yes, so what's the point? Well, before I became known as a king of pool, there was this kid named Big G. He used to hustle all of my establishments, cheating and using all sorts of nasty tricks. And I taught him a pretty good lesson by beating him at his own game and winning all of his earnings. Now I hear that recently, he's come back to stink up my pool halls again. Not alone, but with his boys. It's interesting, Fats. Can we hurry this up? Junior? Don't be obnoxious with me. I'm the one known for that. Anyway, I would really like to feed G in my old-fashioned style. But I've grown too old for hustling. So this is where you come in. Well, I know how good you are. I taught you a lot of my own tricks. 
I want you to find Big G and teach him a lesson for the second and last time. You know, Fats, you're always asking for trouble. But if you want me to, okay, I'm game. I assume that's it? Well, see you later, Fats. I gotta bail. Take it easy, Fred. Fats! Fats! Fred! Watch it! Don't break the door! Junior's got himself in trouble. Look at this. Junior! I can't believe he actually joined up with Big G. What happened? I gotta put a stop to this. Fats, you're not going yourself, are you? Big G's a pretty big guy these days. Oh, yes, I am. Basically, when you want to get things done right, you gotta do it yourself, Fred. A hustler hustles for the love of the thrill and the skill. Money is there to enhance the thrill, not the drown in it. Big G and Junior are winning simply because they're cheating. That Junior better come back with me. Watch the hall for me when I'm gone, Fred. Is that you? Why, are you here to join up with Big G and company, too? Oh, I see. So you're after Big G. Well, in that case, let's just see if you've got the stuff. You know me. I don't let easy money just walk on by. Come on. Player 3 Union 
win. You lose. Draw. Win. Hey, Fats, you're okay. So where to now? Oh, that's right. You're after G. Well, I'm warning you. You got some brushing up to do before you can even try hustling Big G. What do I know about him? Well, I know the man and your little junior own this cool pool bar. They've been hustling rich tourists and eating them alive at this dive. Fats! How you doing? Long time no see. It's me, Diamond, your old pal. What are you doing here in Mr. G's pool bar? Me? Well, I've joined the man. Big bucks, you know what I mean? You see, I'm not the Diamond you used to know. I've become quite a player in my own way. And as you can see, it's become rewarding. Now that I've caught you here, you're not going anywhere without crossing cue sticks with me. I've always wanted to see Minnesota fats go broke, especially if I got to pocket the money. It would also up my reputation as a pool shark. Come on, join me, for old time's sake.
Player 3. You win. You lose. Draw. Wins. You haven't changed a bit. You know, I gotta tell you, I originally joined Big G because I was envious of you as a pool player. I thought I could be big in a different way. I also thought I could really beat you this time. But I guess you've proven me wrong. Big G? Well, I guess he's over at that other pool hall of his. Uh, here's the address. I guess your boy will be there too. Excuse us for a second. Uh, Mr. Fats and I have some business to discuss. Well, Fats, it's been a long time. You know, that boy here is a pretty good hustler, you know. I can't tell you how happy I am just to take him under my own wing. Yeah, we made some serious bucks together. And bucks are what makes this world go round, man. Since you're here, I'd like to cut you in. You know, make you part of the winning team. You know, uh, make it sort of like a family reunion. So why don't you think about it, a little friendly game of four, huh? Come on. 